Hello folks, Mundane Man here again today and we are going to be doing some disgusting drain work. I have one of my sinks in uh, our ensuite that is draining very slow and um, as an example, let's just watch. You can hear it draining. Slow, slow, slow. This is like watching paint dry. So it's not even empty yet. And if I go to the other sink and let the water out, same amount of water in them. That one's just emptying out uh, within seconds. But this one, still slowly draining. Now we've used the usual stuff like we've tried vinegar and uh, baking soda, pouring hot water down there and short of using caustic chemicals, I'm going to do it the old fashioned way and we're going to pull the trap out and see what's in there and plugging up uh, the works. So let's get at it. Now the first thing we got to do is get under the sink here uh, so that we're able to access the uh, plumbing trap. Oh. This is bordering on insane. Okay, well give me a few minutes to clear this out so that we can uh, get to the uh, trap that's kind of in underneath there. Where to begin? Okay, I think I got enough out of the way. So here's our trap, and then that extends into the main line that's going down to the basement. We have a, a clean out port here, there's a clean out port there, and then the trap. I'm going to be focusing on the trap here because I suspect stuff has gotten lodged in this area here. So I have a pan that I'm going to put under there because that's easier than a bucket and then I'm going to take the trap off and see what gloriousness we have in there. Now you shouldn't really need any tools this should pretty much be hand tight and then there is a joint up here that you just need to spin off so that the pipe will slide down Here comes the goodness. I got a light in here so you could see the deliciousness that's uh, slimed up that trap over the last 11 years. And down in there you can see towards where it enters the trap that uh, opening has gotten very small so that's probably the cause of our slow drain for sure. I don't know when they're going to invent smell-o-vision but uh, I don't think you want this permeating through your TV or computer. I think I'm going to take it down to the kitchen sink and I'm going to flush it with the sink tap down there because it has a sprayer and see how much of the gunk we can get out of this pipe. Let's send some hot water down there and see what we can get out of it. I'm going to put the screen to the sink in so I'm not sending too much junk down this drain and have another problem. So I put the sprayer on. see how we did. I'm going to see if I can find a scrub brush that we never want to use again and uh, scrape the sides of the pipe. BAM! I don't even know where we got this but I think it's going to be perfect. Oh. 
Oh, look how delicious that is. Oh. That, my friends, is your typical grunge you'll find in a pipe. If you're squeamish and don't like to touch gross things, maybe a pair of gloves would be appropriate. Run that through the pipe a couple more times. Get it down as far as I can without getting it stuck in there. Oh! Well, that's the big chunks that came out of there. Now I'm going to take this back upstairs and put it in, run some hot water through it. I think while I'm here, I'm just going to check this clean out and see what kind of build up we may have there. Just a little slimy in there. That part looks not too bad. Just a little goo in here. It got caught at the clean out. I just rinsed it out in the other sink, which isn't a shared drain, so I didn't make water come flying out of here, so that's good. Put that back on, doesn't need to be too tight, just to seal that plastic gasket. And I'm not going to worry about this clean out. That's basically to the vent and the drain never backed up, you know, in this section, I'm sure. It just was slow. And let's put the trap back in. One thing I forgot to do was get the gunge out of the, the spigot that goes to the drain of the sink. More black goo. Actually, this feels like where it might be gummed up the most. Let's see if I can get my brush up there. This gets a little messy, folks. Basically, I'm just running my finger around the circumference of the pipe and unleashing the blackness. Now I'm going to put my bucket here and I'm going to run some water through the top. Maybe it'll drop some of that stuff down. That is actually the slowest part of the drain. So I'm going to have to attack this a little bit deeper. Once the water drains out. A few minutes later. Okay, the next thing I need to do is clean out this uh, the spigot that's attached to the sink. So I'm going to take off the plunger or drain stop rod here, which just slides off with a spring clip. And I'll undo this brass holder. It's a threaded brass nut that holds the uh, plunger in for the drain stop. That's nice and black on the end too. So that is the joy and goodness that came out of that short little pipe there. It's amazing what gets caught up around the, uh, the drain plug. I'll show you that I got it squeaky clean now. You can see all the way through now, there's a little bit left, but it's a drain, what are you going to do? I'm not going to clean it with my tongue. Now I'm just going to go down to the sink downstairs and clean this lovely thing off. I'll be right back. Now, we need to put the 
stopper back together, when you put it down into the drain hole, make sure this uh, piece here with the hole in it is facing the back. Because when you run this through the back of the pipe, it's going to go into that hole and that's what allows the uh, drain to rotate up and down. I'm going to put the uh, cap on this first. Ooh, that's pretty gross. You got two. I'm going to wash that first. Okay, that's nice and clean again. So now we're just going to thread it back on top of the, the plastic piece that allows the drain to come up and down. And again, make sure this uh, end is facing the back of the sink so that um, this will come in like that. And it just sits there and then this pops it up, that drops it down. Let's put our brass nut on the uh, shaft with the ball on it. And we're going to place it inside the drain and try and put it in straight so that you catch the uh, plug and then just thread that back on. And it just needs to be firmly tight. And we have this clip here that you're going to put half of it on the shaft. Like such. And then we're going to... I think it was on hole number three of this brass thing. This clip is going to go on the other side of the drain handle brass rod here. Then you're just going to try and straighten this out. It's fairly flexible so that uh, it's uh, not binding or anything when you move the drain up and down. And we'll just slide it on till the rod is straight. Okay, we got the pipe cleaned up from the trap perspective and the brass pipe coming down from the sink. We cleaned that up. Cleaned up the drain uh, plug and everything, so I think we're good to put everything back together and test the flow. We're sliding our pipe with the trap on it up on our brass pipe to the sink. And we're going to align it with the trap threaded uh, portion at the bottom. Down here, you see I threaded that back on. And then we have this thumb wheel up here that holds the... Uh, pipe up onto the uh, sink. Again, hand tight. These things don't need to be too tight. Okay, let's fill up the sink and test for leaks and push any other crap that might be left behind down the drain. Okay, close the plug. I'm going to fill it up with hot water so it'll give it a good flush. I'm going to fill it up to the, uh, what do you call it, the emergency drain. I bet that's probably got some crud in it too. I guess if I had a small brush I could try and work it down, but that drain, this emergency drain goes down and underneath the sink and then turns into the uh, main drain itself. Okay, we filled it up to the emergency drain. Some water is going in there. Let's just splash some water down there. Check for leaks. See anything dripping down. Turn the water off. Open the uh, plug and see what happens. Oh, listen to that good flow. Life is all about good flow. And that emptied in like five seconds. Let's do it again from the top side. And there's no water leakage from around the pipe up above or around the trap. And the trap, that was the first thing I heard was it fill up with water and then it pushed the rest of the water all the way through. Basically the trap is to uh, stop the stink from coming back. It keeps a water gap there so that uh, you don't get sewer gases coming up your sink.
Okay, I'm filling the sink up again with hot water. Now, I'm thinking this is probably something you should do every couple weeks or a month. Fill up your sink with uh, straight hot water and then run it down the drain and maybe that would prevent some of the stuff sticking. Maybe as well you could use uh, the baking soda and vinegar method um, more frequently just for drain maintenance instead of having to go to all this effort to clean out the slime. Okay, let's pull the plug and watch how quickly it'll drain out now. Perfect. Now to uh, go to the chore of putting all this stuff back in. I don't even know where it goes anymore. I may have to check my video to get it in the cupboard right, but um, somebody's just going to have to uh, put up with how I stuff things back into the sink. Need to clean up my mess first, get rid of the grunge out of the tray, and clean up the, uh, the underside there where I got muck, and uh, let's put everything back together. Well, that's it for this edition of Mundane Man, where we turn that mess into this nice flow. Look at how quickly that drains out. That is music to my ears. So, a fairly easy job, just, you know, you're kind of in confined spaces, and if you've got a weak stomach, maybe don't tackle this and go for the chemicals, but I like to just clean it out by hand, and then you're not shoving anything into the environment that shouldn't be there. So if you like these kind of videos and know somebody who would uh, benefit from it, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And that would be great. Helps the channel out and I'll keep making videos as I have things to do around the house. They may seem mundane, but things got to get done. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.